Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for watching, tuning in, coming back, and whatever else you want to say, but thanks for showing up. I appreciate it very much. I'm having a great time making these videos. It's a new year. I got more ideas. There's lots of stuff I'm talking about, and sadly, um, I spent uh, a few days ago, I recorded this really long video. It was like 20 minutes, and I spent all this time talking about photography and different topics and things that I really wanted to talk about, and then the second half, I did um, basically what I'm going to do in this video. And then I just realized today while I'm recording this that I was like, that is 20 minutes, it's too long. Um, and that's really two videos, it's two different things. So I cut it in half and then I watched each of them and I thought, yeah, they suck. So uh, I tossed them both and I'm starting completely over. So here we go again, although it's the first time to you because you're not gonna see the stuff that I, uh, I threw in the trash. Anyway, um, I'm here, I'm back, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for watching. So I wanna talk about a couple things. First thing I wanna talk about is if you go to my YouTube channel, which is boom, right here. Um, you'll see this little community tab. And if you click on that, this is a place where on YouTube, I can interact with you guys. I can post something publicly, blah, 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 and say, hey, this is Jim. What do you think about whatever? And I did that um, a couple days ago, right? And what I did is I mentioned that I'm starting, I'm going to do a Q&A video, like a question and answer video. So I get a lot of questions that I think would make, actually, if I could get all these, not all, uh, there's gonna be too many questions, but if I get a, a number of questions that I think people ask repeatedly, um, I end up answering these questions over different videos and comments, and sometimes I would just rather put them all together and make a video out of it, and uh, that's what I'm trying to do. So um, if you can leave a comment, all you do is you go out of that community tab, and then you clip here, click here and type comment and leave a question. And now the question can be, Hey Jim, what do you think about X or Y or Z as it relates to baby photography in general? Or, hey Jim, what about X or Y or Z with Aurora or Luminar or Lightroom or, you know, maybe Topaz or Nick? I use those some, but not as much as I use. I use Lightroom a decent amount. I use Luminar. I pretty much live in Luminar uh, and use Aurora quite a bit. So I'm happy to talk about those. Uh, maybe it's, hey Jim, I want to ask you about long exposures. Or, hey Jim, what about this when you're taking brackets for HDR? Or, it could be about my gear, it could be about places I went, you know, whatever. I mean, I'm not too personal. I won't answer those. Um, have some privacy, but um, you can leave a comment there and I'll do my best to include it. I've already got 10 comments and uh, I'm working on that. So, that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. So, now let me hide that screen. Okay, we're back to just me. Um, and what I want to talk about in this video is Luminar 3 and the library. So one of the things I was thinking about was there's somebody left a comment a while back on one of my videos, um, one of my early Luminar 3 videos. And what happened in that video was um, I was, uh, well, I didn't even have a library. I had a folder of photos and I had 26 photos. And I was talking about how great Luminar 3 with libraries is and how it's worked well for me um, at that time. And in fact, it's still working well for me, but I had 26 photos in it. And so Here's an actual quote from a viewer, which, you know, the tone, um, it seemed kind of mean-spirited, but this isn't like a mean tweet or, or whatever. Um, but, uh, you know, it seemed a little mean. However, I actually completely agree with what the guy was talking about. So let me just read the quote, and then we'll talk about it. His quote is this. You are reviewing a library module with only 26 photos. I'm sure you've ha uh, heard of all the issues in this release. Pretend you are a real photographer and review it with 20 to 100,000 photos and see how far you get. Really, 26 photos. So um, that is the actual quote from uh, whoever this gentleman was. And I don't want to name him. I'm not about shaming the guy. Uh, he had a fair point, as I said. I mean, his delivery, you know, maybe I just took it as being a little bit meaner sounding uh, than he meant it. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, but he had a good point. And I actually don't disagree. So, um, admittedly, like, shame on me for, like, saying how great the library module is when I was running a folder of 26 photos and not a library. Uh, so, it, I, in other words, it wasn't really an honest test. And have I heard about the issues that people have had with this release? Yes, I, believe me, I've heard it. You, I, I feel like I've heard it more than anybody because I make these videos and I'm very thankful that a lot of people watch them and people leave comments. So, believe me, when I say I've heard them, I feel like I've heard it, like, all the time. Um, it hasn't been my experience. My experience has been really incredibly good with Luminar 3 and libraries. Uh, is it the fastest, blazingest, fast thing of all time? No, but I find it at least as fast as Lightroom, maybe faster, not to mention the fact that it has all these other filters and capabilities like layers, and etc., uh, that uh, Lightroom doesn't have. So I love it. I'm still loving it and using it, and I think it's great. So anyway, that comment got me thinking, and uh, so I was like, well, you know, basically I was like, well, crap, why don't I just stick a bunch of photos in there? Because I never took the time. I'm always running fast and like, oh man, I got to record a video. I'm thinking about this. I want to record that and boom, 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 boom. Um, 
and I never took the time to put them in there. So I was in my closet where I got a bunch of crap. Um, and one thing I had is this old drive, and this is a four terabyte Western Digital Drive. It actually, I've got this written on here, Lightroom Duplicate Files. It was actually an old backup copy of my Lightroom library, so it's not current, but it had thousands and thousands and thousands of photos on it and some other junk. I wiped off the other junk, um, and I said, you know what I'm doing? I'm gonna start loading these into Luminar 3 and see how it goes. So the other day I loaded like 60, well, I can't see the number exactly, but um, and I'll explain why in a moment. Um, I had 60, let's call it 60,000 photos, and I loaded them in there, and I did it like a folder at a time because all these people were saying, oh my God, I put in 10,000 photos, and it cr you know, it's crawling, it's so slow, it's terrible. So I was doing a folder at a time, so it might be 1,000 photos or 2,000 or 1,000 or 500 or whatever, I was doing that. And so all told, to get 60,000 photos in, it probably took me 45 minutes, maybe an hour, and all the photos were in there, and the library was working great. So. Um, the other day when I recorded the first version of this video, I, um, I grabbed another folder that had over 70,000 photos and I said, you know what I'm going to do this time? I'm going to time the damn thing. So I got my little iPhone, wherever that is, and I put on the timer and I said, you know, plus you, you go into Luminar uh, and uh, you just go, you know, plus add new folder or whatever. And I, I, I grouped that. It's a group folder. I'm going to explain my organizational structure here in a moment. But anyway, I took this folder with like 70 plus thousand photos in it. I said, go import. I hit go on the timer on my phone. And guess how long it took? 19 minutes. And all the photos were in, the previews were built, and I could scroll through and look at the photos. Now, I'm running a Mac. It's not super new. It's a couple years old, 16 gigs of RAM. It's not a crazy high-end machine. Um, does Mac work operate? Uh, does, it, uh, does the Mac um, version operate more, uh, you know, better or more rapidly than the Windows version? I don't really know. Um, I've heard from both Mac and, and Windows users that have complained about performance issues. And um, I will add that I've also heard comments both on, uh, that I've seen in the Facebook group, that I've had uh, on my uh, uh, YouTube channel here on my videos, both Windows and Mac users saying, I, I dumped Lightroom. This is the greatest thing ever. It works perfectly. I don't know what people are talking about. So your mileage may vary. I have no idea why it works for some people and not as well for others. It's worked great for me. I now have 131,724 photos in Luminar 3. It's not my entire Lightroom library. I have a, uh, probably another 130,000 or 150,000 or something photos to go. Um, and I'll get there, but I, I wanted to put a bunch of photos and arguably 131,000 photos is a bunch of dang photos. I stuck them in Light, uh, sorry, in Lightroom. <laughs> um, I stuck them in Luminar 3 and they're working great. So let me show you, here we go. Um, this is just, uh, it's just, I mean, all photos, right? Which you can see up here in the top left, starting in, starts in April 20, uh, 2009, and it goes all the way through this month, which is January of 2019. Uh, and here's how I organize. Here's the folders, right? So again, this is not all my work. This is a, you know, not quite half of, of my photos. So, but I wanted to show you my folder structure and how I'm organizing them. So what I basically do is, I'll take a geographic area and categorize it. So I've got Austin. I live in Austin, Texas, so I've got a lot of photos from here. This folder has 10,000 photos in it, which is not um, all my Austin photos, but I only took a subset of my Austin stuff and stuck it in this, um, I'll, I'll still call it a test library. It's not my full library, so it, I don't wanna call it my full library, but it is 131,000 photos in a test library. Um, I've got a Canada library. I've got a Europe library, which has 70,000, and that's the one I just added. I've got US travel, which has about 47,000 photos in it. So how do I organize it? I basically just create subfolders within each folder. And this is my, uh, on this hard drive that I showed you, that's how I organize. The same thing I do in Lightroom. I organize by geographic location. In this case, I, uh, I created a separate location for Austin because I live here and I get out and shoot a fair amount. But then separately, Canada, and then under Canada, I'll have, you know, BAM for Vancouver, right? Under Europe, I've got a laundry, oops, a laundry list of stuff. You can see this, and what I do is I categorize it by location, which is city for me, um, and then by date, right? So Brussels, October of 2013, right? Uh, Dublin, May of 2013. Uh, Italy, Amalfi Coast, Italy 2016. Um, things like that. London, May of 2013, whatever. Montpellier, November 2014. So that's how I organize and categorize my photos. And you can see, I mean, I've got thousands and thousands of photos. This is my Europe folder. Again, it's not all of them. It's a, it's a large chunk. It's, it's probably 80 or 90% of the photos I've taken on my trips to Europe. Uh, and I freaking love Europe. God, I just love Europe. You, you Europeans, man, 
yeah, you got so much to shoot. Um, and then I've got a U.S. travel. Uh, Seattle is actually on my desktop. That was from a recent trip. Got 200 photos in it. Just left it there for now. U.S. travel, I've got about 47,000 photos. Nashville, you know, uh, March of 2011. New York City, October of 2017. Uh, San Fran, June of 2015. Whatever. You can just kind of see. And you can see that I take a lot of brackets, right? There's a dark, a medium, and a bright, right? So I've been doing that for years. Uh, you know, here's a, a road trip in summer of 2015 from California to Oregon, a bunch of coastal stuff. Uh, most of these are just the raw files, and these are the raw files. These are not JPEGs. They're not small or whatever. But you can see um, I'm kind of scrolling through it, and I can see my photos. And, uh, you know, again, is it incredibly fast? No. I mean, if I really scroll like that, it's going to take it a minute to catch up. But you can see it's catching up, right? Here we are in the, uh, the beach in Oregon. Um, God, I love the beach in Oregon too. Anyway, that's a little bit about um, Luminar 3 libraries. Both, hey, n two things I wanted to address. Number one, you can put a lot of photos in it, and guess what? I did. I finally did. A and I got to admit, I'm sorry um, that I haven't uh, done this sooner. I I'm way overdue, but I did it, and it, frankly, it's working really well. At the same time, I'm, I'm not trying to belittle the, the fact that some people have had issues and challenges with it, uh, putting a lot of photos in. And all I can say is like, I'm sorry. I mean, I don't know what to say other than um, I'm sorry because um, I want you to be able to enjoy the benefits of this product. I think it's a great product. I've used it for years now. Uh, ever since um, you know, I was a beta tester for Luminar when it first came out and I did the first round of videos on their website for uh, training videos. And uh, I mean, I've loved it literally since the, the day I started using it. I was like, this is a game changer. Um, and now with the library, I think the library is a game changer too. Uh, is it perfect? No. Does it have everything I want in it? No. And maybe the biggest question, hey Jim, are you going to completely dump Lightroom and move to Luminar 3 for libraries right now? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm keeping Lightroom for now. It's got a print module, which arguably I don't really use that much. I'm terrible at printing um, and I, I need to pick up my game on that. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't have keywording and things like that, but it's got a lot in it. I think it's got a lot of promise. I love it. Um, I hope your experience gets better. I hope that you stick with it. And you know, I know they're working to provide updates and things like that. So uh, just keep at it. But I wanted to share two things. Number one, it can hold a lot of photos and continue to work well. Fact, right? At least for me. Um, I've proven that hopefully in this video. Uh, and number two, I wanted to share how I organize my file structure to keep organized because I've had some people ask me that. And I thought it was better to put this in this video as opposed to like a Q&A video, although I could talk about it there too. So um, and now I'm a real photographer, uh, according to that gentleman, because I've got 130,000 photos, more than the number he said. He said put 20 to 100. I put 131,000. So, hey, I'm a real photographer. I feel pretty good about that. All joking aside, he had a good point, and uh, hopefully this, uh, this has been helpful. So I've got a lot more videos planned. Keep coming back. Comment, like, share, uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I've got some other things planned. Um, as I said before, uh, at the beginning of this video, I started uh, a video that I made uh, it was 20 minutes long, and the first 10 minutes was me talking about photography. So it's almost like a podcast, except it's not a podcast because I don't have podcasting materials, don't know how to do it, and frankly, probably never will. However, it's more like a video cast. So I've got some things I want to talk about and share with you guys, interact with the community. Speaking of community, hit that community tab, check it out. Um, you know, I'm going to post there maybe once a week, but if you've got any comments you want to show uh, me to consider for my Q&A video, please leave them there. Uh, and that's it, my friends. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you're having an awesome day. See you soon. Take care and adios.